welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how to create the rip paper effect in canva so i'm going to be creating two different designs and i want you guys to follow through so that you get everything that you need to get out of this particular tutorial so the first thing we're going to do of course is to create a new design i'm going to be picking instagram posts because i love using instagram posts for examples but then you can use it to create different other designs. So clicking on Instagram post, uh, you are going to be redirected to a new tab. And here, what you want to do is probably work on the background of your design. So for me, I'm going to just change the background color to um, green. Yes, I don't know. I really want to work with green. And so after doing that, the next thing I want to do is I want to actually search for the type of uh, design or the type of paper ripped paper that I want. So the next thing you have to do is go to elements under elements to search for whatever keyword that you're going to be using. I'm going to be using whole paper because it's streamlined my search. So I'm saying whole paper. When I click on all paper, I'm going to be searching through. As you can see, because I'm using free uh, Canva, I can see you can see that some of these designs are actually pro. Pro version. So if you have a pro version, you can also work around this. But for me, I'm going to be going with this particular. Uh, okay. I'm going to be going with this one here. This gives me what I'm actually looking out for. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it to the exact size of the canvas. So after doing that, yeah, I can keep doing that. So after doing that, the next thing I want to do is I want to add text to this. So I'm going to go with, okay, here. I might as well just start from beginning. Just select a text and start looking for the right um, font to use. But then there is already a font that I would really like to use, already created design. So I'm just going to delete this off and I'm going to click on this white Christmas. So here... You can, of course, use any type of text that you want. I'm just using this because I really love this. Great vibes. It gives me that vibe. So what are you going to do is, for me, I'm going to change the content to something light. Okay, so for this, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text color. Okay. I'm going to change the text color to, let's go with white. Right now, it's not actually looking really good because the white is blending very well with the uh, the paper. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Effect and I'm going to select Shadow. So clicking on Shadows, you can see the shadow color is white and we're going to change that to, yes, black. And then we can, of course, you can walk around the shadows however you want. I am very, very fine with the way everything is right now. So I'm going to leave it that way. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this part because it's totally useless to me. So I want you to notice that this right here, we have the text on top of the red paper, which is not actually something we want to do. So the next thing we're going to do is right click on the paper itself and detach from background. When you detach from background, automatically the text goes to the back because yeah so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to now adjust this again right just adjust it however you want so i'm going to go with it like this and then the next thing i'm going to do so that we avoid it sticking to the background by default so we're going to lock it and then we have it exactly like this. So then the next one I'm going to show you is I'm going to um, add new page. So if you don't have Canva Pro, just like I don't, the next thing you're going to do is actually search for where you can get free ripped paper graphics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to free design resources. .net. I'm going to leave the link to this particular website in the description box and i'm going to search for what i'm looking for ripped paper so here i'm going to just search and then you can see just one path and when you click on the path you can get 
your link to download just click on the button here to download and then after downloading uh, we can start working with it okay guys i have actually downloaded my ripped paper and i have everything here so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be picking one of those designs and i'm going to be using it for the next uh design i'm going to show you so i'm going to go in with this first one here and upload it right here Okay, when you're done uploading, the next thing you want to do is click on the paper and bring it on board. Adjust the size to fit exactly how you would want it to fit. So for me, I am doing this right here, right? So when you're done with that, click on that same um, image. Click Ctrl D to duplicate and rotate to 180 degrees. So yeah, we're done now. So I'm going to adjust this here. So the next thing I'm going to do here now, you can have text, you can write text in between, or you can actually have an image in between. I'm going to be working with image. So I'm going to scroll down to one of the images I already have here. Remember to always remove the background. If you don't have a pro version of Canva, you can always use remove.bg. Or you can always receive remove the BG to remove the background of your image. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust the size of this image. So I just finished doing that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this paper below and I'm going to right click and bring forward. So bringing forward, you can see now I have this. So you can use this to also um, showcase product or a text so the next thing i'm going to do of course is i would be adding text to this and i would go to text now and click on this one drag down to where i want it to be and i'm going to be editing the text contents to right so i'm going to be changing the text font also to handwriting okay under this i'm going to be selecting the Bet earning so yes you have it that's it that's the two designs i want to show you how to create and then the next thing i'm going to do is really change the color so guys if you really really do like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel so that you get more tutorials like this and if you want me to do a particular type of tutorial please do leave in the comment section I would definitely, definitely create that particular tutorial for you. So thank you for watching again, guys. Thank you very much. See you in my next video. Bye.